Hi, Lindsay here. I just thought I would do another walkthrough of my Pixie. I've updated uh, most of my tabs and I've added a few new things and so I thought I would show it off. Hopefully you all can hear me this time. I'm speaking a little bit louder than last time but um, I did um, some cute little fun things. You can see the top of my planner you can see these little new tabs and some new clips and things like that so we're gonna walk through all of that um, if you have any questions just leave me some questions on the bottom and I would be happy to answer them or leave me feedback let me know how you like my videos that kind of thing um, I really like doing the videos I used to podcast all the time um, I'm a knitter and I used to podcast about knitting and I just I, I kind of miss doing them but um, I sort of like have very little time so I um, just haven't really had a chance to do any so maybe I'll get back to it at some point but um, at least right now while we have our food trailer and our restaurant going um, I'm super super busy so uh, anyways let's get started I'll show you my my planning thing I bought this cute little charm from Michaels in their new planner section and I think it's adorable and then of course I have this which I had last time so anyways um, we'll start with the front again I still have my owl and my teacup in here I haven't found any other cute because um, these are fabric clips and I really think they're adorable so I always have them on I added some cute little planner society cards into my money pouch so that you couldn't really see the money and I think uh, that really helps me feel a little bit more secure when I'm carrying this around um, especially when I'm at the tills and stuff I find People are like, you know, checking my my book out and stuff and they can see how much money I have and I don't really like that. So I've sort of hid it away and I think that's really cute. So here's a new tab that I made um, and I also added a clip that I um, made. These are Planner Society as well. Actually, most of the stuff that I use in my kits or in the planner is uh, Planner Society kits, and that's from Scarlet Lime. If you're not aware of their of her kits, they're beautiful. So on these ones, I added um, a little pocket in the back so that you could insert. Well, this piece doesn't really fit, but you could insert <laughs> little receipts or or whatever. I added pockets to all of my tabs this time, um, just because I thought these were cute, and I picked these up at. Walmart or not sorry not Walmart <laughs> I picked these up at Michaels and they look like this and I just took these little cards out and I'll use these at some other point um, and then I just cut straight across once I laminated it so I thought these were really super cute I picked up a bunch of different kinds and I found them in the very first aisle I know most Michaels are set up a tiny bit differently but some are set up the same so you might be able to find them in your in the very first aisle as soon as you walk in by the scrapbooking stuff so um, this is my daily planner and I made this little tab thing here and I just basically made it out of the backings of some of Christie's um, like some of her goodies you can see like this one has the sequence in it and behind it is a really pretty card and so a lot of her packaging comes with these cards and so I've been keeping them and I just cut off the top there and then added the fancy um, mirrored lettering on the tops of these just so that I had something sort of sticking out as to where my day starts and then I also washied the edge of all of August and I also dated um, my month. Generally I don't do that but I had some sort of forward planning that I wanted to do just because uh, my staff at the restaurant are all asking for 
lots of days off so I just wanted to make sure that I had my days straight and then here's the back of that um, first tab and again I put a pocket back here so that I could throw stuff in and then this is where I keep all my debit cards and things like that and again I put little planner society cards in to sort of hide and keep my information safe so and then here's my next tab I added a cute little ephemera I think that's how you say it I'm not really sure and I added this cute little clip it's from her washi tape um, and then I just clipped it on onto there and on the back of these ones I put these cute little news newsprint pockets and again you can put in your piece obviously again this doesn't fit but um, so another cute little pocket this again is my collections list I haven't updated this this is on my list of things to do today to update where I am in my books and also add the new Harry Potter book in here because I did start that even though I'm not done reading these I'm kind of a I'm kind of ADD when it comes to books and so I still kind of I can keep three or four books kind of sorted in my head as to what's going on so I haven't uh, I haven't updated this but I am a little bit further on in the assassin in the desert and then um, I'm still I'm further on in a couple of shows that I haven't updated and I still haven't updated Dexter which I should do so I'm gonna add like Harry Potter and stuff like on the next page or whatever so my collections will grow and then here's the back of that insert again with the pocket and this is just the back of the newspaper one you can see this is the front of it and it comes with this little card and so the front of it looks like that and then the back looks like that so you can flip them over to make them look different which I think is really cute and then there's the back of that one again another pouch that I keep um, sort of different monies in I put cards on either side again to protect it I made this clip yesterday um, I made these ones and I made this one I think they're adorable I haven't put the big one in yet I haven't decided where I'm gonna clip that but I thought I'd make some cute little clips uh, I bought e6000 glue at Michael's and it is super super good glue so and these won't shouldn't come off um, I also took one of the packages from one of the I think this is from the sticker club actually because it's a bigger envelope it's probably about that large I don't know if you can see that probably about that large anyways um, and I sealed the end of it and then I cut it in half and then I folded over each side here's the other side I folded over each side and then laminated it so you can feel the paper inside but it's nice and laminated outside and I made these cute little pockets to put different things in um, I also used the a foxy fix dashboard insert and put another cute little thing from um, planner society in there and then on the other side I put some post-it notes on and even on this side as well I put post-it notes on and again I put another planner society quote on that side as well and these post-it notes here are from Erin Condren one of their um, metallic sets and then this book is my running log and running diary and stuff so I'll just keep that <laughs> closed and then um, these ones I believe are from Michaels they're the color in ones and then just some regular post-its I put in there I f was finding that I needed like little places to write things and so I wanted to keep some post notes in my thing and again there's the other side of that pocket and I just sealed it off like I said and then cut it and then when I laminated it I separated um, I put a little space in there so that it goes around my planners nicely and then here is my last insert cover um, this is my calendar one and it has pockets as well it has a vellum pocket in it and the vellum pockets they come like this so they come with a little card 
and I just glued it on and then laminated it and then cut during there and then I still have my brown folder in here for a couple of receipts and things like that and then I put my other um, sort of bookmark in the month that I'm working on and then in the back I still have some post-it notes and different other things and then this is the back of that of the insert cover and I just have my um, sewing club membership in the back of there because I don't use it that often but I do still like to carry it with me and then that's the back of my book and these little clips like I said they're really cute and easy to make you just fold your washi tape over probably about I would say give yourself about 8 to 10 inches and then um, clip it around your your paper clip and they just go right they're just really cute a cute way to keep some washi um, if you really like your washi tape, I really like this this blue color, and so I really like it. So that is it. That is my cute little chunky pixie, and I hope you like my video. Thanks. Bye.